Hi, today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for glasses wearers. And I think since I started making videos and went onto YouTube, this has been the most requested video ever. I constantly get asked for makeup tips for um, girls that wear glasses. So I thought it's about time I did it. So I'm gonna start with base. Now, obviously the main complaint is that you get ridges across your nose, dents in your foundation, the foundation comes off, red marks, etc. The first thing I'd say is not to put a lot of foundation on your nose. If you're wearing really thick foundation, anything that's denting into it or that's weigh weighing on the foundation is going to make indentation marks. So, the less foundation you put on that area, the better. Now I know you're thinking, well, I need coverage on my nose, but there's a way of doing it, which I'm gonna show you how you can kind of cheat it in a way. So the other thing to say as well is really be guided by your skin type. And if your skin is a little bit more on the oily side, then you do need to use either an oil absorbing primer or a foundation which has that oil absorbing quality um, and is matte because this, you know, as soon as your nose gets shiny and um, the foundation also gets shiny and slippy, you know, not only are your glasses going to be falling off, but they are going to be taking off a lot of your foundation and leaving marks. So I'm going to start by using, I'm going to use Evermat, which is one of the um, Eclarins foundation for oily skin. I love this foundation. I've used it before, actually, one of my foundation videos because it is so almost seamless on the skin you get coverage but it's very light and um, when something is light and is kind of blended well into the skin there's a lot less to come off I mean it's obvious but if you're piling on foundation piling on products you've got a thick layer on top then every time you touch the skin, some is going to come off. So the less you have of that, the better it will be. So what I've done is I've applied it all over my face, but I haven't done my nose yet. So I'm gonna use what's left on the brush. So this is less foundation than I've got on the rest of my face. Now, if you do need more coverage on your nose, you can, of course, add more coverage just where you need it. You don't need to do it in this exact space where your glasses are going to be. So if, for example, you've got a spot, a blemish, or you have redness in a certain place, you can almost do like pinpoint concealing and just focus on the areas that actually need coverage, but try and avoid this bit here where you know your glasses are going to actually be sitting. So you're just smoothing out the foundation there and having it as thin as you possibly can, depending on what issues you've got. So on to concealing, and obviously for the rest of your face, you'll do your usual concealing that you always do. For the area around your eyes, you may find that with your glasses, you they cast a bit of a shadow. So something more light reflective, if that's the case, or if you're naturally dark anyway. I mean, this is kind of common sense, so excuse me if you think I'm kind of stating the obvious here, but some of it is kind of obvious. Um, so light reflective is very good. Something like, obviously the one I always use is the um, Clinique one, or there's the Perfect Match by L'Oreal. Um, but there's also the issue of long lasting, because if you're wearing glasses which make your eyes look bigger, so if you're, you're far-sighted, if you're long-sighted, you kind of see everything a lot more. So you may find that you're more worried about seeing, you know, be able to visibly see the concealer if it's creasing. If you do find that you crease or you've got oily skin, you can use your primer, whichever primer you use. This is the one by the balm. And you can actually just take that with a brush and use it not just on top of your eyeshadows you would, if, you know, for whatever color you're wearing, top of your eyelids rather. You can also put a thin layer underneath this will just help to prevent anything from moving around or from sliding off or from being rubbed off by your frame, the frames of your glasses. I quite like this one by the balm because it's a bit more moisturizing than um, the NARS ones and, and the other ones, which can be a little bit drying. Um, so underneath the eyes, if you want something that really lasts a long time, if you're very oily, I was going to say that's not my color, but it's from my kit, um, the Kevin O'Quan Skin sensual skin enhancer is good because that I find that never creases it really sort of stays put Laura Mercier is good for oily skin under the eyes because again it's got that dry texture but just make sure everything is well blended and this is where I kind of get on to talking about 
a makeup look for people who wear glasses. There's no such thing because there is no one look. It really depends. If you're long-sighted, far-sighted, then your glasses are going to magnify your eyes and make them look bigger. Now, if you've got small eyes, you might be thrilled about that and that's great news for you. If your eyes are already big, um, then you might may be less happy about it. The other thing about having your eyes magnified is that all your makeup skills are very much more on show. So if you've got very cloggy eyelashes or very badly blended eyeshadow, um, it's all going to be out there. It's going to be on show. Um, but there's no kind of hard and fast rules for how you do your makeup. I know some people sometimes say you shouldn't wear bright colours. Well, Yes, they're going to be more obvious if your eyes are magnified, but if you love bright colours and you're used to wearing them, then as long as it's well applied, I kind of think it's all about how you apply it and having good sort of technical skills. If you're um, nearsighted or short-sighted, then your eyes are going to look smaller, um, which again, you might think is great if your eyes are already huge. Um, if they're already small, then obviously there are certain tricks and tips so I'm going to go through all the tricks and tips but I just want to make clear that there isn't one look for people who wear glasses simply because different glasses different lenses have different effects different coloring you know depending on how thick your frames are what color they are will mean a different thing and also different personalities you know women who wear glasses are just normal women some are extroverted some are introverted some love makeup some don't love makeup some people like bright colors some people only like natural makeup so it has to suit your personality i know again i'm being obvious but i just thought i'd i'd say that so a really good tip for concealing is to mix a long lasting non-creasing concealer maybe like the nars one with a light reflective because then you kind of get the best of both worlds if you're wearing glasses you're getting the light reflection from the highlighter but you've also got that kind of mix mix them together but you've also got that extra staying power that you only get from um, a regular concealer and just have a look in the mirror when you've got your glasses on there'll be a sort of places where you get more shadow than other areas so you can kind of focus on those. Usually it's in this kind of, just under the sort of eye area. In, uh, sorry, under the, under the sort of bulgy bit. There's kind of an area there that gets quite shadowy with glasses. And you can always put a bit extra there, but not necessarily all over. And then just make sure it's well blended, particularly if you're long sighted and your eyes are gonna be magnified because you will really see it a lot more. So my glasses magnify my eyes and make them look much bigger. I, um, my eyes are quite big anyway, so I really want them to look huge. Otherwise I look like a cartoon character. Um, so I'm going to make them a little bit smokier, a little bit more defined, which will kind of almost contain them in a way. Um, I'm going to use this palette, which has got lots of kind of um, cool tones in, more sort of purpley, mauvey colors, grayish purples because also that will really bring out the green in my eyes because I have brown and a bit of green and if my eyes are going to be really magnified then they may as well look a really good colour. So I'm going to start with this shade. This is the rose version of the L'Oreal um, nude palette. This has got all the cool tones in. This is what I call the Betty colour. And this is also matte. What's quite nice about matte if you're going to have your eyes really magnified is that especially during the day, um, you don't really want your eye shadow to look massively glittery. And um, even if it doesn't without glasses on, you may find that when you've got them on and everything's looking twice the size or much bigger, that it suddenly looks very, very glittery. Nice for a night out though. So over the top of that, I'm going to use a more intense sort of purpley shade. So get the outer edge. And then buff that in. This one has got a tiny bit of shimmer in, but not too much. So even if it's magnified, it should look okay. Now what I'm doing here is more of a kind of makeup to make your eyes be defined, but also a little bit smaller. If you are the opposite of me and you find that your glasses make your eyes look much smaller, then you'll be doing like a classic big eye makeup. So thinking about having a lighter 
tone close to the lashes to really kind of open up the eyes and light here. And if you are defining them in the socket line, you're doing it in a way that um, is not really closing the eye down. So maybe just, you know, really thinking about pulling the eye, making it look larger and, uh, and rounder. I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to make my eyes again look a little bit deeper. This is a black. I'm going to really smudge the pencil because I think when your glasses make your eyeshadow look, um, when you can see everything, I quite like it to look really well blended because sometimes when you see really harsh lines, particularly during the day, um, when you've got your eyes magnified, it can look a bit too much. So I'm really going to just soften that black down. And then I'm going to put a touch through the lower lashes. Just a tiny bit and then buff that in. Take a cotton bud actually and blend that in. Just really well blended makeup looks good and if your eyes are small and your glasses make them look even smaller then really avoid those black lines along the waterline and really closing the eyes because with the shadow from the lenses as well your eyes are kind of going to disappear so you almost want to be doing the opposite maybe I should do this eye lighter <laughs> okay I think that's what I'll do so I'll make this eye about wearing glasses that make your eyes look bigger and this one about wearing eyes that make your eyes look smaller so on this eye I'm actually going to change what I was going to do and I'm going to add more light so I'm going to make this look lighter here so I'm just adding like a light highlighter and because this is going to minimize the eye they're not going to be magnified you won't notice so much the shimmer all you'll get is just a bit more light reflection, which will be really nice. Kind of touch on there. Likewise underneath, I'm going to define, but I'm going to go a little bit less um, intense. And then along the waterline, I'm going to use a light pencil here. And I'm going to use the darker shade on this eye. So I'm just giving a really good blend on the eye that's going to have the magnifying glasses on. And to do that, I'm using a magnifying mirror because then you're really going to see how they're going to look when they're magnified. Um, also, of course, if you're short-sighted anyway, um, you'll need to use a magnifying mirror. And there are just so many amazing magnifying mirrors. I always buy mine in um, John Bell and Croydon, which is a really good um, chemist in the West End in London. They have a whole... They have times five, times ten, times twenty. They have all these different mirrors that you can put in your handbag or you can use at home. So... If you really kind of make sure that your liner and all of your makeup on the magnified eye looks pretty perfect. So I'm not saying that the eye that's going to be minimized or made smaller by your lenses shouldn't be well applied as well. I'm just saying that it's, you know, it's a bit less forgiving when your eyes are magnified. So you have to be like extra careful. It looks beautiful and well applied. So onto lashes. And um, if you have very long lashes and they're straight, they're going to touch the lenses. If you're lucky, they are, because they, that means they're quite long. Um, so always use your eyelash curlers in that case and give them a good curl up. So in terms of mascara, if, you, if, if it is an issue and you find it comes off a lot with your glasses, then you might think about switching to waterproof or very long lasting, which will, will help. If it's not something that's really an issue or you don't like um, waterproof mascara, it's quite tricky to get off sometimes, then any good long lasting mascara is absolutely fine. In terms of formulation, if for your magnified eye, so the eye that's going to, you're going to see everything, something that's very, very separating. So mascaras that have plastic wands, for example, that aren't too big and have a lot of kind of spikes, 
you'll find that they are very you kind of you put them on and every single lash looks completely separate if your mascara doesn't do that then I would use a brush and just comb them through afterwards because if your eyes are going to be magnified a lot you're going to really see those clumps they're going to be much bigger and very visual for my eye that is going to be minimized I'm going to use a much fatter mascara so more of a volumizing mascara and I'm really going to kind of I still want it to look nice and not clumpy but I can get more bulk in here and it's not going to show as much the kind of bulkiness so I can really kind of work on the roots there and I want this eye to look big so I'm going to put a lot more mascara on as well so I start to get that kind of big eye look so if you can just try and imagine that on this eye I've got my lens which is really minimizing the size of my eye this makeup as you can see will really just throw some light in and have the eye look bigger and more open likewise with my glasses that make my eyes look much bigger than they are naturally much more magnified this eye will be defined and obviously you don't have to do it as dark as this I've used black but you could use gray you could use brown whatever color you like um, but the, it, it does have that minimizing effect so just gear it around your lenses and your physiology whether your eyes are big or small um, so I'm going to go on to brows they obviously again it depends if your glass frames almost cover your brows and you don't need to maybe pay them as much attention if they are your frames are really black and kind of heavy then you might want to make them too dark because they'll almost compete and you'll have the dark brows the heavy dark brows the heavy frames then you might have it might just all be too much um, but in general I think the tip would be obviously to frame your eyes very beautifully and do it so that the eyes just look as eyebrows look as, as nice and as groomed as possible and if you're wearing lenses which minimize uh, sorry maximize your eyes if you've got lots of stray hairs under here you might not be able to see them normally but when you've got your glasses on everyone will be able to see them so just make sure you kind of clean up a little bit under there just make it look as nice as possible my glasses are all cat shape eyes just because I personally like that shape and I think it suits my face so I've got them in all different colors um, but they tend to almost cover my brow so I don't have to worry too much and I kind of have black framed ones and I've got sort of lighter ones also depending what sometimes I have my hair a bit darker so Depends what colour my hair is. That's a whole other subject really. Glasses just suit your face shape and your hair colour. I don't think I'm going to go there today because I feel like this video is already quite long. So on to powder and make sure if you do have an oily nose that your foundation, even if it's nice and thin, which it should be, and your concealer is well set with, with powder. And then in terms of highlighter, I think it's quite nice to put a little bit of highlighter onto the, especially the eye that's going to be minimized and made smaller. Just put a dot here and there, just again to throw some light in there, touch up there, and you can sort of get away with a little bit more shimmer on this eye. On the magnified eye, you can use highlighter as well, but as I say, during the day, any sparkles will look extra sparkly when they're all magnified up. But of course, for evenings, it's nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish my look with some blush and I'm gonna use powder blush and a touch of lipstick, but obviously these aren't really dependent on glasses. It really depends on so many other things. So I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about that. And a touch of lipstick, which of course doesn't matter as well, if whatever glasses you're wearing. And I can't really say now that's the finished look because I've got two completely different looks look a bit crazy. Um, but that's kind of the point. There isn't one look for glasses wearers. It, it crucially depends on whether your lenses make your eyes look much bigger, whether they're magnifying your eyes or whether they're making them look much smaller and minimizing. And then by following certain tricks and tips that I've kind of shared with you today, you can kind of balance that out so that when you're glasses are on your eyes look kind of the normal size in a way just by kind of tweaking it and, and balancing it with makeup 
And everything else really depends on your personality and what you like. I mean, I've said things today like, you know, when you use kind of shimmery or glittery colours on an eye that's magnified during the day, it might look too glittery, but maybe you love glittery. So it really depends on your taste and your personal style. So I hope that was helpful. I'm going to make a poster actually using my one of my glasses to show you how this eye looks magnified. And then I'm going to use my friend's glasses who makes her eyes look, the, the, her lenses make her eyes look much smaller with this one. And then I'll comp the two together so you can see on the poster frame um, how these eyes look once the right glasses are on. So hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon.